Mm, there we go. Oh, hi. So, uh, long story short, I had some issues. I had to do a quick reset of some things. So, um, this video is going to be in 1080p rather than the usual 2K. Uphand is going to export really easily for me. Downside, it probably won't look so good in a few years' time. Yeah. Apologies. Dear God, where did we leave off? It's been a while. You don't remember? I can tell you a few things that happened. When last we were here. I... Unless you want to try. Um... You're good to do it and not fill in the missing bits. <laughs> so... Oh, let's see. Clifton brought back both Fane and Renar with the exclamation, I'm great at this cleric shit. The party headed back towards Walking Wreath, where they found a few magic items that were doled out. They went to the very top after speaking with a ghosty person. They found a portal. The poor Clifton drew the short straw and walked through the portal first. And walking through the portal, he was met with a ghostly apparition who said that he was the caretaker. That that's this is fun. This is so fun. I'm so excited I came to this session. <laughs> so, so so he was the caretaker of the area, and that this, it's, it's not where it should be. Does, does this face not scream joy? <laughs> this one sparks joy. Yeah, oh. Does she have all of her spells prepared? Sorcerers don't prepare spells, they just know spells. That's crazy. You picked wizard. Turn my camera off and that made my computer work too, too hard. Let's um, use <clears throat> watch to see when in. Clifton spoke with a man who said he was the caretaker of the facility. And that it was not where it should be. And that things were weird. And that the only way to put things back together would be to kill the beast that haunts the area and <clears throat> for lack of a better term fix the portal Clifton wondering what this man is on about then got the biggest startling realisation he heard this and watched as a creature who I can't remember its name, I have its name. The creature came crawling up the side of the building, looking a bit like me on a Saturday morning after drinking in the Sunday night. At which point Clifton tried to make a bit of an expeditious retreat. And as you now stand here in this room with the thickly green glowing light flashing, you just watch as nothing because the portal is black. Well, I can't see uh, the bottom of the, the room. I got a. Uh, uh, Calaman, Northern <laughs> Wastes, Walking Wreath. Move over here to you in the black uh. and white. Dismal miasma. This creature looms forward, gives off this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, real quick, dude, I gotta go through the portal and destroy it. I'm gonna do that now. Look in the portal. Yeah, darting back and forth. For you, this side of the portal as well is just a thick, swirling blackness. Nothing... No image from either end. I'm going to the ender. Well, I'm going... No, that's not... Never mind. You're going to go through never the portal where you find yourself in a odd, precarious place. You've never been... It's similar to where you just were. Is everything supposed to be black for me? Separate maps, unfortunately, right now. Um, oh, wait, no, Clifton, I'm apologizing here. I don't have this turned on. Because I was sick of... I was sick of the creature running through it. 
Like, if you move back and forth, you should probably teleport now. He says. This doubling of the tokens is going to get my, my nerves. So oh. going to run through a new area. This time, nothing out on all ends. You don't hear the creature. You don't hear anything. See <laughs> anyone. But off, 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 off. As far as the eye can see, nothing but swirling black miasma crashing and swirling. I thought you were both fucking up here. Right back to Walking Wreath. You're gonna watch, is he just gonna out the portal? Okay, listen, really, really quickly. Trust me when I say this, break that thing. Break it. Break it hard and fast. Fast as possible. You gotta give us like a like a like a, a story. What happened? Something's about to come through it. Break I mean, it. I mean something's about no, to come like, what, what? I don't have anything to break it with. Um Oh I'm not sure we should just break a magical portal. It's um, magic, it could explode. I, I was explicitly asked to to keep that thing from coming into our world. What um, thing? It, it's it's a big kind of like a imagine a werewolf, but with an overly large head. But like the flesh is rotting off its bones, and its rib cage is exposed, and it's got snarling teeth, and it's big. Archie, I'm gonna ask you to roll me a flat d20. Flat d20, okay. Um, what do we roll? Him in these flat e twenties. Anyone can roll against <laughs> this flat t twenty. Roll against it. Yep. Just by rolling a d twenty, or just by rolling a d twenty. All right. I'm not telling you what it's for, but I'm gonna give you this. I'll give you how it goes, as I have your sheets. Exodus. Melano. She's the one I don't have. Should I roll for an Arden or nah? You can if you wish. I know my number's here right now. Oh, being called for a fuck. Uh, I'll be right back. Cool. For y'all here, as Clifton is reveling, rattling off this story, you feel that maybe some details are just a little bit over exaggerated. He's. You can tell it how he looks, how he's acting. It's been very hyperbolic. Yeah. Okay. So, are we on the same page? Oh, my bad. That's alright. What the? Uh, I didn't have time to ask him how to fix it. Never mind. You gotta fix the gate. Uh, not sure what the fuck he meant by that. There was a strange man who said he came through it a while ago with some people. And there was a monster there that wants to get through. And he would rather those people and him be stuck over there than have that monster get through here. I don't know much about the monster, but we need to fix the gate. He did not tell me how before that thing came bursting into the room. And I got out of there as fast as I could. Okay, okay. I, uh... I it's supposed to be a portal to a different place, but, well, over there everything's in grayscale. And it looks exactly like <laughs> this tower, so I don't think that's where they were meaning to go. Anybody wanna? You know what? I, I'm gonna roll Arcana on the on on the gate. See if I can figure something out about it. If anybody would like to help me, that that would be greatly appreciated. 
Uh, have I have uh, no other helper? I am going to. I'm going to. Uh, wait, no, never mind. God, not an ability check, is it? No, Arcana is an ability check, man. Okay, but um, yeah, I'm gonna guidance myself. Thane, did you? Did I? No, I moved. I moved Melano, and Thane moved in. <laughs> They're connected. No. Being connected, you just probably got both of them selected. Do I can do that? Yeah, you you dra click and drag like. I I got Renard in there as well. Just double tap, es triple tap, escape, and then drag Fane. Uh, Fane. Escape. Yeah. So if you've got a tile token selected, escape, hit escape again, and then hit escape a third time just to remove the escape. You know. Shortcut keys. Um, Melano and Clifton, <clears throat> use refocus your mind based on this new information. And as you look, you recognize that the sculpted dragon heads are those of green dragons. The ruins relate to natural magics of the Feywild. You also notate that they can, in fact, turn. Let's try turning both of these dragons the other way, and maybe, maybe, just maybe, that would do the trick. Anybody else have any ideas? I'm trying to have it, because I don't know if that thing is going to come through, but I know it wants to, based on what that guy said. And based on his tone, it was not a good idea. And I'm, I'm just going to be frank, I don't know who else he brought with him, but I feel like it was at least a party as big as us. I, my memory's kind of shit, but he, he did not tell me to defeat it. He said to make sure it can't get in. Anybody uh, got any other ideas? What or happened? We... Huh? What I miss? Party ran a check, found out that the um, the the dragon sculptures on the portal are that of green dragons and that the ruins relate to the Feywild and that they turn. I was suggesting that we turn both of the heads in the opposite direction and I was asking anybody else any ideas and I was explaining further that we I was specifically instructed to fix the portal not, uh, not destroy the creature and not to destroy the portal um and the creature came before I could ask any more questions, and I don't remember a whole lot of details, but I remember that that guy said he came through with a group bigger than our group, and I, they haven't killed it yet. I mean, hey, us. let's go. <laughs> no. Um, do we have any do you have anything to destroy it with? Destroy no, we, we don't need to destroy it, we need to fix it. But he didn't tell me how, and I couldn't really ask before that thing came charging into the room. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And I, I honestly don't know um, how how much longer we have, or how big of a threat it is, but I'm assuming it's it's big. Yeah, I mean, this pearl's been like this the entire time, though, so it's not like... You know... The danger started... As soon as we walked in, it's always been open. But he, so you, the creature described. What was the area that you teleported to? What did it look like? It was exactly like this tower, but there was no color and no light. And I teleported a second time trying to get back here and wound up in an area much like a tower, much like the tower, but beyond it was nothing but an inky void. Do you see the... So, you went to what was very clearly not the Feywild. Yes, and they were trying to get to the Feywild, but he and a group of people who originally went through that portal, and they could not get to the Feywild. 
Ah, so it, it's like the the labels are switched. Someone switched the labels as a prank. <laughs> <laughs> Meant to go to the Feywild. Oops, now you're in the gray. <laughs> Somebody what if we just the wild potion. What if we just like, the label was like slapped on top of it, and when you peel it off, it's just the the, the photo negative <laughs> dimension. I don't know what I, you told me what it was. I don't remember what the, what was the name for the thing was. Oh, uh, the the Feywild and Dragonlance is still actually called the Feywild. I know, okay, right? Yeah. <clears throat> did, did you tell me what that dimension was called? Uh, uh, and I fully recall it. My memory from last time was shit. The dimension that you went to is known as the Grey. A fitting name for a place in grayscale. Yeah, the it grey, was called, uh... The grey is the polar opposite of the Feywild. Where the Feywild is this happy, chaotic, random, weird shit happens. The grey is very much melancholy and depressing. I want to say to the party that if the grey is the opposite of the Feywild, then wouldn't doing something in an opposite way fix the portal? What? Lovely talk we had. Um, I think we go in there, we defeat the monster. You, because I've always wanted to go to the gray. Ever since the extra planar entity that resided in a dagger that I had to wield with two hands told me about it. Okay, let's put it to a vote, and I guess we're not including Renard or Melano. Yeah, who wants to go into the gray and fight the monster? And who wants to try to fix it from outside? Seeing as we don't know how to fix it, I say we go in and fight. Sounds like we have uh, plenty of reinforcement. Alright, that is two against one. I guess we're going in. I don't know how to fix a portal, but I do know how to make things bleed. That is, that is fair. <sighs> The most roguelike like answer I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me um, let me just ready my. Oh, hold on now. No, no, no I'm gonna. Yeah, you know, we're not the answer wrong for now. Let me, let me read that up real quick. Oh, yeah, let me look at Renard's sheet. Let me let me see what this guy. Let me see what he's about. So you're only missing one first level spell slot, which is good. Oh yeah. These are the same spells that he had before he died. Um, so, he has here what you probably should be aware of is Precise Strike. It's, a, right. it's an additional to his actions. He has three of them. What you do, similar to, um, similar to Reckless Attack, call it before you use it. If it, you get advantage on the attack roll, if it hits, you do an extra D8 damage, and if it misses, you do not use the charge. Really? That's pretty cool. I'm, just, I'm trying to... When the screen is too small, when the screen will not let me see the full precise strike thing, oh, motherfucker. Um, post it in chat for you. There you go. I gotta look at a few of these. I gotta look at what the fuck a guardian shield is and what the fuck a villagen guardian is. Let's let's look at these. I don't know about these. Um, oh, I can just click them and they show the tooltips in the thing. Oh, that's cool. Oh. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I guardian get that. shield just lets them cast shield. Yep, yep, yep. Villagent guardian, oh. I've never seen them used myself. Yeah. Man, he got the Abdra and the Vow. Damn, but damn. Not damn. Well, no. 
I'm not sure what. I mean, his. I'm not gonna lie. His his spell choicing is making me want to die just a little bit. At the time, he didn't. We had no healers, and now he's just looking for ways to pile on additional damage. Yeah. Does it pick up protection from evil and good? What is he doing? Um, yeah, 19 he's, AC, he's, and he's level seven. Hey, listen, that's not that's not too good. Though. All right, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I've looked over the stuff. I've seen the future. Do this. Oh wait, is everybody uh ready? What's he apparently concentrating on? Is my question. Me? No, uh, Renard, you're not concentrating on anything. Oh, good, good. Um, I I have ready my sword and my shield, and I'm walking back through. Oh. I'll leave the way. Oh, come soon. Uh, apparently, Exodus was also. Um, you know what's really weird? I don't see the inspired condition anymore. Give me a sec. Uh, probably uh, should have more of a weird bear, but uh, oh well. Inspired. And then I put that's just a D twenty that's on your inspiration, so definitely gonna use my inspiration. I've been holding on to it for too long. There we go. He's gonna watch us cleft him once more back through the portal. Oh, he's okay, now. quick! He fell. He fell for it, guys. It's close. Let's change the portal dial. <laughs> <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, there's more than no, that. No, no. Yeah. will. Oh, why is it glow? <laughs> Don't worry. I moved them so there's more space. Let's be honest. If he's okay. there, that uh, takes up yeah. a butt. If he's there, technically speaking, because this is a large token. Is it large or is it bigger than large? This is a huge token, so it's three by three. So as that long as he's still alive. I'm okay. You just kind of all walk in, you see this creature once more, and it kind of gives off that. <sighs> you just I'm going to turn and look to people who thought I was exaggerating. What was that? I'm going to turn and look to people who thought I was exaggerating and say, see? As you still look, this creature, devoid of color. So imagine this, but black and white. <laughs> As you just come in, hit the roll initiative button, and it's all fuel. Now this sense of dread. Bar I can't see. I'm the only one left on this map. Oh. Sorry. Bar Exodus. Why am I enthralled? Your just gets horns. You've got the horn. Quiet, Nella. Dainty with my dog. Well, now, doggy. Well, calm down now here. Boom. That does the creature lets off this huge ass big ass roar first on the top of initiative is Exodus and we can see where everybody is because it's black and white but the little thing's blue. Hmm. Uh. So you said that everyone's frightened. You said or everyone feels this overwhelming sense of dread and despair. Mm -hmm. Not frightened, but like. Mm -hmm. You couldn't generate a happy thought to save yourself. Mm -hmm. You, however, mm -hmm. you feel right at home. I feel like you belong. Hmm. But I'll even give you this first attack with advantage. Oh. Well, I was just saying about Exodus. Uh, he had an idea of where his his power drew from, but he never knew the the full scope of it. And as he steps through the portal, it is 
as if he is coming to a realization of what he has signed himself up for. Right? There's the the realization that this is the the kingdom he is trying to inherit in a way. And with the beast in front of him, he would draw his blade and go to do what he always does. Slay monsters. Let's go. <laughs> um, Once you do that, I'm going to turn off this portal. But no, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to turn off this portal so you don't accidentally teleport yourselves. Uh, briefly, a hand would go to his uh, Shinari's um, amulet to imbue him with haste. <laughs> But then he would decide against it, seeming to want to prove to himself that they could do this without his benefits. So moving five feet, is that within range? I can't tell because the yeah it is. All right. I'll turn the grid on a little bit for us. Because this one actually has no grid turned on at all. Like I just made it completely blank. Yeah, he's within five foot now. Yeah. So I will make this attack, booming blade. Of course, of course. Let me just. Um, make sure I got everything. Sneak attack because advantage and that. Oh, all right, all right. Sixteen, twenty-two oh, oh. for ten. All right, and then booming blade damage will be. So I hate that it asks me to do the thing every time. Um. Seven additional plus sneak attack. So seven plus twenty-four. Seven, Fourteen plus ten. Yeah, twenty-four. You're gonna, gonna watch it. Is it snarls? You did it now. So your turn. Yeah, I'm uh backing up as the game plan always is next to Mello. Um. And that'll be my turn. Okay. The Anhalox next as it is. And we'll move down the side to get more in range. Good God, that's a big boy. Oh, he's a big boy. He's so big. As he takes his claws, I gotta read this melee attack very carefully. It takes his claws, runs and rips over towards Fane. Fane 17 for 15. Yeah. Uh, also the 11 Thunder. Just throwing it out there. Yep. Right. So it does, it rips up a second claw towards Melano. So 24 for 19. Mm hmm. Why is it asking for strength saves all of a sudden? Give me a sec. Um... Oh, Fane, make me a strength saving throw. Cool, right, you fail. Is horizontal up and down here, lefty righty? Mm, up and downy. And you are up. You're gonna watch as the world starts to zoom out before you start falling back to the ground. Take a further eight bludgeoning at you to the ground. I mean, if you hit me up, I have feather falling in order to not take. If you get feather fall, then you then shout it. I'm sorry, that's Minecraft. I have um, something that makes me not hit the ground so hard. What is it called? Slow fall reaction, fourth level um, fall. The damage is reduced by five times your monk level. Yeah, also, I could have carried that. <laughs> You're gonna. Sorry, I'm. Up. You're gonna start coming down slowly, assessing the battlefield, as it were. <laughs> Is the next one, the 24 for 19, smashes into Melano, who also needs to make same set DC 18 strength saving throw. Okay. 
Oh shit. This is really she completely beats them. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Kinda oh, up once more. Gonna watch she comes up before immediately just down. I'll take the same damage for her rather than re-rolling. So uh 2d6 for 8. I'll make that public so he's what he did there. Then we watch this final hand comes through. As it does reaches forth towards yourself, Exodus. He watches her rib cage that grabs towards you 20 or 22. Yes, that hits. I will, however. You know, I'm actually high enough for to do the thing. Yeah, no, I'm just gonna take all that damage. <coughs> and your strength saving throw from you as well. This bastard Wait, is what saving throws. What did he do? 22? Uh, DC 8. Uh, he ribcage come open, took his hand, put it towards Exodus, smacked, and is now trying to drag him back. Exodus need to make a 18 deck, uh, DC 18 strength save. Woo! As it starts pulling you, uh, no. You just are not having it. See, uh, hold on. Cool. So you're gonna take that damage. I had to read the fucking book for that one. You're gonna take, you know, you take, did, did, did you take the damage off? You did. Yeah, 22 you said? Yep. You're gonna take that, but you still managed to just break your way out of this grapple as you watch the ribcage once more. And closes back in on itself. Fain. Fain, okay. Um. Fain's going to use his fists and go one that's acid damage yep. and I can go one bonus action and then theory of blows correct you have extra attack now Matt. do you not <sighs> I do do you extra attack bonus action theory of blows for three more hits okay, hold on I'm gonna check you get extra attack um your flurry of blows is still two attacks. Okay. But you're now doing two and then bonus action a further two, so you're essentially speed bagging it. Okay. Uh, on that first one, I'm going to do my Blood Fury tattoo, the uh, 21 to hit. Okay. Further seven necrotic. And then I'm going to further two. The rest mess. You know, okay. punch in acidic, you know, watches the necrotic damage seem to fall through and I'm trying to follow that up three more times. It's a, it's a wily, whiny little fucker. Wiry, I suppose is the other word I'm looking for. <laughs> Don't else your turn? Uh, no. Rat. Clifton. It's Clifton time. God, He's gonna be real good at that cleric shit. Uh, you know what I'm about to do? What I always do. Well, did we get a long rest? Uh, there, there was a long rest. There was a long rest, but then there was a combat between. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so yeah, um, you know what? I'm I'm gonna keep that because as soon as I decide, you guys aren't gonna die today. Somebody dies, so I'm gonna keep that spell slot open. Uh, that's or you know I could cast at a higher level. Yeah, I could do that. You know what? Fuck it. Spiritual weapon at third level. Hmm. 
spiritual weapon actually buff at higher levels is my question. I don't think it does, but either way. <clears throat> it's a powerful spell. Oh, even better. It does. Uh, nice. You're going to fire it off at third level. 16 for 14 will hit. You're going to watch as the spiritual sword comes in and just... <laughs> Do you want to turn, my guy? Uh, yes, if I can. That's my bonus action, so for my action action... We are slashing with the wrong sword. In the hand, in hand. But I don't think I've attuned to this yet. 17 for 4 will hit as well. So you're gonna bring it and you're gonna hear that ting 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 of the sword going down their bones. But you watch as it does cut deep. Did I ask your turn? That'll be it. Melanol. Alright. Um. Let me see how long this lasts for. What are you thinking? Sickening Radiance. Uh, let me check. Sickening Radiance level. Four. Four. Sickening Radiance, 30 foot spear, 120 foot. Uh, concentration. Wait, it said uh, 120. Oh, uh, wait, the range is 120 foot. Okay. Yeah, yeah but it has a 30 foot spear as well. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back when I get my headphones. That's an odd spell. Mm hmm. Is it just instant? It doesn't have a time on it. Uh, I think it's any spell that's concentration usually lasts about a minute. Mm-hmm. Okay, what we're gonna do... Just gonna have her attack, yeah. Okay. Going to do. Gonna make the smells amazing. Psychic damage on this. Do I? Nah, never mind. So that there's gonna be disadvantage because you're making a spell attack at range and you're within five foot. Fifteen still hits. Nice. So let's see what we got in terms of our numbers. Um, so two d eights were not the same. So six on that makes it poison damage. You're gonna watch the hits it. It's definitely takes that. I haven't quite worked out chaos bolt yet. Okay, all right. Doesn't come up much. Not much flavor for it right now. Mm -hmm. Did anyone else your turn? Uh, it does hit. Mm, no. It does hit and takes all the damage. Renard. <clears throat> Alright. Renard is going to do something he never does. <laughs> which is use one of his channel divinities. Alright. Uh, I, I, I will use bonus action. Of uh, Vow of Emimini? Emity. Emity. So to see within 10 feet of you, using your crew channel, you gain advantage on attack rolls against creature for one minute. Until he draws the zero point turn, so you fall unconscious. And then he's gonna move here. Wait, wait is it Vow of Emity? Emity, yes. Okay. I got confused for a second. And then, and does he have extra attack? Yeah, I'll Is he multi Nope. Yeah, 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 Does he have improved Divine Smite, or is that 8th level? I believe that's 8th level. Um, because yeah. it, right. automa yeah, it automatically adds on, uh, once he's got it now. Yeah. What spear does he, I mean, what weapon does he use, just because I don't, um, is it the Draconian Longsword? No. <laughs> <sighs> The Cody Longsword is kind of one of his go-tos, simply because it's uh, additional fire damage on there as well. 
All right, I'll make the two attacks, one at a time. Let's go. 25, can crit fish? Yeah, crit fish, crit fish. 25 hits? Nope. That's a, that's a lot of damage. All right, next one. I actually did not select the creature, sorry about that. Don't worry. Uh, next one, let's see it. What was the... Yeah, yeah, this one. 22 hits, crit fish. Crit fish. Total of 27 damage to this beast. You kind of just bring it and swing it. Even the flames are in black and white. You just feel the heat emanating from them. You start just ripping through this creature. As you can tell, that was a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Did I announce your time? Uh, that'll be it. You doing anything else with your new turn? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, how top. beat up does this thing look? Um, really hard to tell, because it's an undead-looking creature. So, like, you know, like, you see those ribs and all that shit sticking out of it. You know, there's considerably less flesh on there than there was when you first encountered it. And that big pool of blood caused by Renard lets you know that it's hurt pretty badly. Ow! All right. Stop himself with a compass. I will do another yeah. booming blade. Um, let's see it. Of course. What am I doing? I'm booming blade. Yay! Oh no! Who saw that coming? Fourteen. 14? Just I misses. Just misses. Just. But... Just misses. All right. Uh, Agassiz will use his uh, other uh, tactic, which is running away. Probably should have activated the thingy, but, you know, gotta prove I'm an independent, loyal motherfucker that don't need no, uh... Independent, loyal, runs away. <laughs> and then I will... It's a free action to she the she the something, right? Yeah, just on your next uh, turn. And that'd be your object interaction. And then on the next turn, pull in another one. Yeah, you'd be using two object interactions over two turns, but yeah. I'll be honest, I don't see this lasting until round three of initiative. Mm. Alright, then I'll just have my turn. The unhalalalalalala will once again take its claws, and as it does, will fire swinging wildly up Renard. That is a nat one. Before it immediately brings the claw straight back down to Clifton. That is a 16. Both missing. For it. Once more with the rib cage just throws its hands outwards towards Fane. That's a 24 Fane. Uh, I need a strength saving throw, firstly. Melano's got a silvery barbs that. Nice silvery barbs out. Oh wow. Sorry, right, one sec. Ember alert. I gotta go out and look for him. I'm sorry. That's a lot of blood. What? There was an amber alert. I gotta go out and look for him, guys. I gotta be I'm gonna be right back, okay? Um Tell that kid when you find him he's got some die to roll. No, not serious. Um, I know. But, uh... Yeah. Melno's gonna still re barbs that. 1d20. I don't know what's going on, in, by the way. 23. Mm, mm, mm. I need a... Uh, who should give an advantage to? Sorry. This is about to uh, someone. Who's next in the initiative? You. Bane, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, also need a strength saving throw from... Well, you. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Oh, beautiful. So you just take... Uh, you take 32 piercing damage. <laughs> and I die. No. Fucking such little health left, but you are still mm -hmm. there standing, 
blood pouring down Fane's face is just now pure black and shine. You watch the ribcage once more closes in. Fane, you currently <sighs> suffer from the owies. What is that? A, uh, let me see if that's a bonus action. You take your time. Um, that fish. Yeah, bonus action, yeah. You take your time. That fish, mate. It's fucking pain. That didn't help it. Um, I'm so dumb. Why haven't I been doing this? gonna do autumn strike and then we're gonna do short sword with the damage great fish 220s yay Now we wait for Scott. So, um, Logan Paul's doing uh, WWE now. He's doing what? WWE. Well, good luck. Yeah, he just won his first match. Uh, he beat Seth Rollins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Damn, the guy who did fake boxing now does fake wrestling? That's crazy. <laughs> mm Got the Ember Alert. <laughs> Damn. Who is this Amber bitch and why does she keep talking the talking to the homies? Stop alerting the homies, Amber. We're trying to play D D. Uh, I can't even.
Let's hope pretty paladine that never happens again. What happened? Just thank your lucky stars you don't live with me. Let's see, what did I miss? A bonus. They're making a new Willy Wonka movie. Yep, with uh, Timothy Charlemagne, who plays uh, the guy from Dune. So let's see. Second Wind. <laughs> give yourself that little bit more. Oh, I see you already gave yourself the second wind on there. I did. Beat me to it. As you do a 24 4 with the punch. 24 4 will hit. Then a 24 9 with the short sword as you swing down once more. You bust off that key point to do the stunning strike, and as you do, that's in that 20. And then that's your turn there, my guy. Doing anything else with your turn, mate? No, uh, what? no, yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. Button! Okay. Oh boy! Time to fuck this thing up even more. Scroll past. Okay. Uh, all right. I don't see everybody. Uh, hmm? Jay confused with the advantage there on the short sword attack, but a nineteen would hit anyway. Uh, I just decided to use it. Quick fish. You didn't have anything to give you advantage though. Um, Melano Silvery Bards. Oh, yep, fuck. No, you're right. It had to be used then anyway. You're good, don't worry. Nyang, I'm an idiot. I lost a lot more than just stomach contents in there. Left it. Alright. Then a bonus action that spiritual weapon. 25 for 6 will hit. And gonna regular attack with this very still dancing longsword. I'm gonna swing. 15 for 5 hits. Alright. And that, that'll be about that. Yep. Melano, he's gonna watch this creature being wailed upon. Just roaring and swiping. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Go! Go, Death Ball! Death Ball Max! Go, go, Gadget Death Ball. <laughs> I don't know what he's rolling, but. Oh, that go, ball! Go. This man's cast Fireball in every just inconceivable sing. plane. You cannot. Just, just singed. The hair off of Clifton's eyebrows. It saves. Gonna these flames, this ball, this explosion, all in perfect black and white grayscale. But the heat is real. Did anyone else return? No. Country Renard. Take us home. Oh yeah, Renard. He would uh take up his blade once more. Let's go. Let's go. Selecting it. Um, buh, 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 buh. first one attributes, no inventory. First one. Let's just see it. See if I get a sick nasty crit. Is it sixteen hits? Sixteen hits. All right. Next one, hope maybe a crit. If I get a crit, I'm gonna smite just for the, just for the. Ooh, bring it on in and down, wailing. First one in, slice. You know, watch as the creature starts to fall, and as it does, bring it in once more just to try. If you do miss, you hear that ting of the sword on the ground, followed by the. <laughs> of the creature the ground as well like I said I didn't see us reaching round 3 of an issue boys 
to work. Y'all. Standing here, the ghostly apparition of a man once more makes himself known to you. Aye. Brother Friend. Yeah, we, uh, we put it to a vote. I was scared to come back and ask you and fight alone. Uh, exactly how we were going to fix that portal, so we, um, we decided we were pretty good at killing things. And I, I think we, uh, well, you can see by the bloodstains, so um, sorry about that. Um, but anyway, how should we fix your portal? Uh, would it be required to, uh, well, rather, would it be required of us to, uh, inverse or reverse something on the is original portal in order to, huh? Is that a lady there? Uh, it's just the default ghost token. This here is a more gaunt or elven man. Looking for a lady. Anyway, um, I continue talking to him and say that, uh, um, would we perhaps have to, uh, reverse something since this gray dimension is apparently the inverse of the Feywild, or rather the opposite of the Feywild? On the portal, on the outside, you just must realign stone to cut this portal off, and in turn, once it is cut off, we should hopefully return back to Ulrippia. So we just had to turn the dragon heads. Yes. Great. That's that. That's great. That is uh. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna go back through the portal. Um, do you, do you want to come with, or would it be better for you to stay here? I. Um, unfortunately stuck here. So, once you realign the portal, I should hopefully also head back to the Feywild. Alright, we'll go back through and do our job properly this time. And Clifton says, come on guys, you've, you've had, uh, you've, you've gotten your energy out, you've gotten your little uh, murder spree going. Um, There's a door over door. there, though. Do you want to explore the door? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You can see my hand shaking as I move my mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Not from fear, but just... <laughs> my I have a health potion? Oh, look, a door. <laughs> <laughs> I have a health potion in my inventory, I wonder. I should. You have a cleric behind you. I have a potion of invulnerability that I should have drank, but that's besides the point. Do you, do you want some time? healing, friend? Do, do yeah, you I want need... some healing? Yeah, I would love some healing. Big, medium, or small? Big. Oh, yeah. Big. Um... Okay, now when I say big, uh... Huge. Big or, like, huge. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, Scottish, how many times a day can I use Mishkal's Blessing? Is it just one? Yes, the one. Everyone, does that ever recharge? Uh, once per day. Okay, once per day. So he wants the huge healing. Um, you just click it and it should do the math. Yeah, I'm just trying to... Uh, Mishkal's Blessing it seems to be only, uh, only one creature, but anyway... I'm trying to see if there's something I can give him that isn't that. Yeah, that aura of vitality. I do have that. Or do that. I know Renard. Yeah. I know. I know Renard has it as well. I yeah. will give. I will. Aura of vitality is a huge healing, but I can. I can. It's most definitely huge healing. It's ten. It's ten rounds of healing, but it's two d sixes each time. <laughs> oh, okay. I, 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 you know, I always forgot that it's multiple rounds. 
Pegasus could use that healing too. He, he's pretty injured. Yeah. He's, he's a big... Everybody, everybody, just, 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 just gather around me real quick. Right. Well, that's happening. Pegasus would look to the ghost or the elven male. And would say, "Did you happen to go through with a um a female elf?" No, I. I came here. Well, I found myself here. Right, here's what to do real quick. Uh, just for yourself, rather here, don't take the thirteen. I will roll this up a way that Ronin taught me, which I love Ronin's way of doing it. I was wondering what she meant by uh by big healing, because that's like that's seventy uh, hit points worth of healing, and and it heals diseases. So there's your numbers. Break them up as needed. Just remember, you got to take like a five and an eight and a seven. You can't like turn that seven into a six and carry the one over elsewhere. Yeah, the man. Oh my! No. I'll take I'll take like the first three, I guess. That's twenty on. You. I need 22, so I could take the three sevens on the first row. That works, that puts me at 21, almost full. I'll put 21 on you. Then Melano's gonna take a uh, 9, a 7, and a 6. Leaving two sevens. No. Three. I have to put three on you. And then I put three mm -hmm. on Exodus. Putting three on mm -hmm. her leaves one number left. Six. Okay, I'll take that last number. Briefly. Six to you. And uh, what was those numbers you were giving Melanoa again? Um, nine, seven, and a six. Twenty-two. <clears throat> Zimanka. No, we... I came here... Alone, we were all passing through, and then something severed the link, and I alone ended up here. Mm. Will uh, we be trapped here if we go down these stairs, or like, what's the uh? Do we get like an hour? Like what's the As long as limit? the portal's open, you are free. Explore. We'll be able to go back. However, there's not much to explore in the grey. A vile and wretched place. Filled with all manner of disgusting despair, creatures that we could never lay eyes upon, and mm, mm. the domain of a few less than savory gods. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. You you know a lot about the you know a lot about the uh this this place uh, I have spent over three hundred years here in solitude would you be able to tell me like let's say hypothetically I may have a friend of mine made a deal with a uh, underling or servants, you would sort of like, like correct himself as if someone was listening. <laughs> you would say, "What? What happens to me when I die?" Or like uh, of Shamash. Is how do I say that name? Shamash. Shamash. Yeah. No. It pen in the signing or power. What did the patron 
ask for in return. Contract works both ways. That. I'm thinking. I make a history check to figure out. For some reason, I feel it was. I feel like. Out of character, I feel like he said Oceans of Blood. We never I don't... discussed this. We never discussed this? We never discussed this. I could just, like, completely roll on a fucking table if you'd like, or you could. Ah. Uh, I mean... It was over the boat ride. Uh, you're, you're the DM, I trust your judgment on it. We could leave it up in the air. They could, it could be a future conversation. Oh! It could have been like a blank check situation. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, someone's made a thing. Archfaith. Fiend. Great old one. Yeah, there's so much of the great old one here. Um, Let's see. So let's let's rock with this one. Okay. Roll a d8. Roll a d8. All right. On it. Fuck. But you know, what? call it a d20. Just because I had your character. Just because of a slash r one d20. All right. Slash r. Oh. Just slash R? Yep, slash R, 1D20. My keyboard's really... Hold on. It's really hard to see because I have the both the Renard and the Exodus in the bottom corner, so I can't see what I'm typing. Thank you. I'm sorry. That's right. It's either pretty good or pretty bad. Then now I uh, roll a d8. There's a little boxes at the very bottom of your chat. You can just click the hover over to get the d8. Click that once and hit enter. Oh, sweet! I forget about that, but it looks so weird when it's not there with the chat. Right. The five. Okay. And. I should be writing these down. <laughs> uh, so, ooh. Right. Uh, then roll the five. Okay. Uh, roll a d6. All right. There's a generator here, all right? We're running a Another generator. Five. Another five. Um. Now, what's my favorite color? And. <laughs> I'll be honest, like, I, I've got this one here. It's like, when does the contract renew? And it just so happens you've managed to hit the auto renewal one, which is great because you've been a warlock for like three levels and we discussed it. <laughs> <laughs> auto renew my subscription? <laughs> You're telling me that there's a there's a premium? I mean there's a there's a lease? I get a lease the the, the entity has a lease on my soul. At the very you know, like, I don't feel like this contract's working out with us. I think we're gonna have to put you to patch you over to the HR department, allow me to transfer your call. <laughs> Yeah, we'll be glad to hook you up with a great old one, but in your business here, you know, no, no. <laughs> what See. the fuck? Uh, roll another D6. Like, There's a few D6s here, I'm sorry. Soul. They're like, you traded your soul for a cup of, for a Kondike bar in the nine house. <laughs> serving, uh, trash. I can't help but imagine those like fly catchers, whatever they're called. In a fly trap? No, the the prisms, the things that kids do where they fold the paper and then like, oh, okay, pick little... a number. 
I could never do that with my hands. Okay. I need just roll three d sixes and I'll take the numbers from that. So many fucking d sixes. No. Oh. First d six was a three. Oh. And then the next one was a four. And then I roll a one, which means I get the <laughs> I get a receipt for my soul that I have to show to the Walmart employee when I'm checking out <laughs> of hell. <home. laughs> Have you, uh, have so, you kids had your fun? No. This is the generated info with some nice little things that work very, very well for all the prep work that I've done. That way I've got no prep work at all. Hello? <laughs> oh, I'm such a lazy bastard. <laughs> you know that your patron called the Oathbreaker. Only term for you and having this power was to enjoy the power. There was no enjoy the power for so long, and then it was just a case of indefinite. You know, like you you enjoy the powers until time and requiem. If you cancel your contract, if you turn that yearly subscription off you lose all of your warlock powers what this essentially means is if you decide to no longer be a hexblade warlock you lose everything that warlock gave you and spec up in rogue or something else if you break this contract so you know if you you know if you don't renew it whatever that's one thing but if you break the contract which is a very hard thing to do given the only thing is enjoy said power <laughs> you know I mean, it's a fucking really hard contract to break here like yeah. i hate it here it sucks <laughs> but i'm not having the best time right now you what excuse me <laughs> excuse me <laughs> <laughs> if you break the contract, your soul is sold to a more powerful demon or devil. It becomes your new patron who has you in a tighter vice grip and less powers. Ah. Uh, I have to, I have if, to always have fun. All right. If you die whilst in servitude to the patron, this, this, is, this is where like, you know, the Oathbreaker seems like a really nice guy. Because if you die, he just gives your soul to a friend that you wanted to have it. <laughs> like it's an estate <laughs> sale or like a... Until it like rocks up at the house, hi, uh, Exodus wanted you to have this, namaste. <laughs> it's like... If, however, whilst in servitude to your patron, your patron dies... Uh, this is just like the absolute fucking opposite. Your soul is just lost to eternity in the void. Gone. My my. Yeah. So if my patron dies, if the god of death dies, my soul is lost forever. Or no, not, I'm not. How are we avoiding the previous stuff that we talked about with the um? So you're you're. Your patron isn't the god of death, it's just like an underling of the god of death type thing, like how, mm -hmm. you know, how most in Faerun, your patron isn't going to be the ma- uh, I was going to say the matron of ravens. It's not going to be, um, the raven queen. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not going to be her, 
but there's going to be someone in servitude to her. Hmm. All right. All right. You're not gay. Well, you didn't fuck the god goddess Mistra. I hey, I didn't get that far yet. <laughs> It's a weird story, trust me, but yeah, you, uh, that's, that's your contract. I'll be honest, that could have been worse. It's actually, a, that's a lot in your favor. I was really hoping you would say that I would get the patron soul if they died. Um, the options were your soul is lost in purgatory forever. That was one, you rolled a one. Uh, the soul mm. is in possession or ownership of whoever killed the patron. Uh, the soul is returned to the warlock as um, number three. Soul is in limbo, uh, waiting for a new patron's bidding. Uh, the warlock loses his power and has no memory of anything that happened while warlock with amnesia. <laughs> and uh, the final one, if you'd have got a six, if your patron dies, you die. I don't know what's arguably worse, being lost in limbo forever or just dying <laughs> and being able to be revived. I guess just... Dying is better. But yeah, alright. The part about being sold to a fiend is like hedge funding with souls. What's it got? Hedge? <laughs> it's like, we expect this contract to fail, so we've already set up a buyer. I, I will be back. Hold on. <laughs> but alright. That is... Next level. <laughs> I need to keep a hold of that. I'm gonna actually paste the Patreon generator thing in here because it's fucking nuts. I did just have to change who the patron is because it only gives um only gives the Archfey, the Fiend, and the Great Old One. So you know, apart mm -hmm. from that. But yeah. What do you wish to do there? That information. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. I'll uh. Think about getting a lawyer. Is there, do I do I? <laughs> what? Uh, It's just got the re recontact. He's just like, oh man, that's what this receipt for my soul was. <laughs> I just found the I thought there was a tag off of a pillow. <laughs> it was just, uh, thank you. And then you would just, yeah. Uh, is there a way to? You know, nah, I'm taking up too much time. Let's just head on out. Start heading, I'll drag the Renard token and the Clifton token and the Melano token because the Jalen token left a little while ago. Don't worry. Uh oh. Don't worry. Uh -oh. oh, we're back. We're back in time. Back, back, back. You come back through this portal. Takes a moment for your eyes to adjust to colour. In the sickly green light, the room illuminates. You hear this? From down out. It sounds like marching. The portal stands in front. The deep dark black in front. The dragons and the insignia. Say black insignias? I know the blackened portal with the dragon's heads and the insignias. Ooh, well, that was fun. Let's, uh. I feel like something bad is gonna happen when we do this, but. That'd be one. We gotta. You know what? Can I make an arcana check? Okay, four. Um, I just want to know, like, 
like the the magical science between this this portal being switched over to the Feywild, like it's been it's been stuck for so long. Is there any chance of it malfunctioning and blowing up or something, or or it, does it just seem like a does it seem stable? I should say. So you just want to know like, whether or not this portal itself is stable. Right, I want to know if messing with it might cause some issues. Maybe I'm worse. not sure if there's like a... I got that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say roll an arcana check. 19. You reckon it could have some negative side effect? However, given that you have walked through it multiple times at this mm -hmm. point, it had no ill effect. You can't imagine any effect that could happen to be anything world ending or you ending. Ah. Alright, yeah, I turn it. <laughs> Mixed concept. Fuck! Okay, give me a second. I'm not sure if you're fucking with you and you actually want me to make a no, concept. No, I need a concept. You do need a concept? That was the most bullshit. No, no, no. Um, Don't worry. It's you. Can, uh, is the... You can have 20 feet. Grab the thing and... Well, as you do, you feel this jolting, jostle pain go through you once more. It's necrotic feel. You take, wow, that's fucking a lot. 27 necrotic damage. And one level of exhaustion. You watch the portal just... <laughs> Lying in front of you now. Just essentially an archway. See through to the other end and you see the wall. There's a no oh miasma. I feel like that should have went to the Feywild. It's just now nothing. But I... I mean... I guess Renard would cast... Um... A second level... Hold on. Fuck. Fuck. If I, if I give one, it takes away two. How do I get two spots? There we go. I will cast one. He, he only had he had two spell slots, right, for second level. He uh, was only missing one. He was only missing a first level spell slot, to my knowledge. I don't know what you cast. Uh, as a, I don't know what you cast at second level. No, I didn't, he didn't. I was just um, cure wounds. He'd come over to cast He's cure wounds, and <laughs> he watches the light. Starts to turn off. It does, you hear this? Can you feel energies that were here? Vacate. Like a weight being lifted, and you watch as the walls start to and just start recreating this pristine. Spire. Every speck, minute pebble, any little bits of dust, small shards all seem to just slot back in. This tower is rebuilt anew, like it were. These huge gaping holes now turn to three windows. Doors seem to become a lot more nicer, and even the rot sconces that burn the putrid green light to restore and start burning this bright yellow white light that you assume with normal fire.
Bane, you want to say anything? I don't want to... Or is it Derek, the one that was here in Fane's AFK? Sorry, yeah, I'm, I'm AFK. I'm just uh, cleaning up a little bit. Alright, you're good. I was just... So I didn't know which one was AFK. Uh, RT. Uh, Terry, uh, both of them been AFK. Uh, didn't even know that part. I, for some reason, I only see the Renard. There we go. So the Renardism. So, uh, uh, Exodus would sort of excitedly, sort of thinking of the the woman who couldn't pick up her sword anymore. Maybe she's no longer there. Maybe this uh, cleansed her soul in a way and put her to rest. And he would go to brush off to check that out. Go to see, find her to see if maybe she. Is no longer there. Did you look it down the stairs? She is still there. Still looking for her sword. Looking for her sister. However, even that level is restored. Where there once was a hole in the ground is now a pristine marble floor. Stairs that had collapsed within on themselves are now stored. That's what I think we'll do. Just because of how the night is. Let's pick this up again next week. I've got earlier shifts. Everyone can make it. It also means that we're done with this section. And they don't get caught in the middle of another section where we have to make a very awkward pause. That sound good? Yeah.